Hey everybody, it's Monday, February 21st, 2022. Hope you're off to a good start for the week. And I can't believe we're nearing the end of February. This year seems to be going by pretty fast. I am Mona with Journey of Purpose Life Coaching. And I wanna thank you for following through or following up watching this today. If you can't catch me live, it's always on for you to catch when you can. We've been talking about be empowered or being empowered, which is part of my mantra. It's the second part for those who are just maybe checking this out. Uh, last week we talked about enjoying the journey, enjoy the journey, and then be empowered is the second part. And we've kind of just to highlight a few things that really being empowered, you have to do that for yourself. I've discussed that you can encourage other people to be empowered, but there are certain steps you need to take yourself to bring that empowerment into your own being. And I hope that you've all learned some things along the way, maybe some things you can add or change or just ponder in your own life. So today, what we're gonna talk about is um, I got it from, I think it was from lifepurposeinstitute.com. Eight ways to feel more empowered. And I'm gonna take it to see how it goes. I don't know if we'll do all eight today. I don't want this to be too long, but if we could get through all eight, that would be great. And the first one they talked about was positive affirmations. And we've discussed this about many aspects of life and I'm always talking about positive affirmations. I think we talked about yesterday or on Friday, um, practice self-care and be um, self-talk, self-talk, good self-talk, positive self-talk, which is still positive affirmations and that kind of goes along with daily gratitudes like I've talked about. The second one is challenge the negative thoughts. Once again, it kind of goes along with what I've talked about with other things. Don't let those negative thoughts come in. If they do, stop them where they're at. And if all possible, flip them to a positive and do it right at the moment if you can. You know, it could be something as, oh, it's an ugly gray day. You know, and you can just turn that around and say, oh, look at that lovely little flower or look at the birds singing in the tree. I know this is minute and may not seem very important, but I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible for you to understand how to challenge the negative thoughts and don't let them hang around for long. You know, just try to do what you can to um, bring that positivity back. And it is a good thing probably to notice that they're negative, but I wouldn't dwell on them and try to change them positive and bring it around. If you push them aside and don't pay any attention, I don't think you're doing yourself any good either, you know, but it's just really challenging. That's the word they used. No, kind of a review of yesterday, take care of yourself. We talked about self-care, you know, and what that looks like for you and how you do it and schedule it. But, you know, I kind of would make that a priority. Put it on your calendar or on a list of things to do. Um, schedule it in so that it happens. Number four, connect with others. And, you know, that's been kind of a hard thing with COVID, I'd say since 2020, that connecting with others, a lot of people have had to pivot how they're gonna connect with others and what that looks like. So for you, um, think about that. Are you connecting with others? Do you need to pivot how you connect with others? How is that looking right now? And number five, get clear on what you want. And this is just, I think this is kind of, adds a little flair to what we talked about on Friday, but it still is reconfirming how um, seven ways to empower yourself and then eight ways how to feel more empowered and they kind of go hand in hand. So really look inside, you know, ponder, consider. I'm sorry, I have my little friend telling me today, Zoe wants to let you all know she's here and she's saying hi. But anyway, you know, get clear on what you want. So if that means getting it out, if it means with talking with someone, whatever that means, really be clear on what you want. Practice gratitude, number six. We've talked about that before. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Number seven, do something you love. You know, I think we've probably always heard it. it goes something like, you know, if you love what you're doing, 
you'll, you know, if you love your, it's kind of based around your job that if you love what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life. Right. So, um, do so, do something you love, you know, whether it's just something fun, if it's a relationship, it's, if it's work, if it's a goal, just make sure that you love what you're doing. And number eight, I do love this one, and I don't know that we've discussed it, but take action and complete something. And I don't know how you feel, but when I complete a task, I think I feel it kind of, depending on the situation, it makes me feel like I've accomplished something. Yeah, cool, you know, maybe a wave of release, maybe accomplishment, maybe happiness or joy. I think that depends on the action, and it depends on you as a person. But complete something and it doesn't say a big something you know it could just be one of those baby steps on the way to your bigger goal so as we think about be empowered i hope that you've learned that that basically you sum it up um it can make you happier feel more fulfilled more satisfied and be empowered means different things to different people but in general it's you know, taking control of your life and claiming rights. And, you know, sometimes that even goes around with boundaries. It's a very encompassing being empowered. But I want you to know that it can be a positive behavior. It can be positive actions. And if it's done in the right format and out of love and true honesty, that it's not a negative, you know, you do need to be empowered and you don't want to be the red carpet all the time, like I kind of say. So I would like you in the box below before we sign off until Wednesday to think of something about be empowered and what does that mean to you? Or maybe share something that you've learned over the past week that we've talked about and we've added and shared how it's affected you. So until Wednesday, please, Enjoy the journey, be empowered, live on purpose. Thanks so much. Have a great day.